In March of 2014, Lions Place 2 opened on the VA's campus providing housing for our senior veterans, and that's just one of many revitalization projects uh, in our area. Joining us now, a familiar face, Congressman Mike Turner, uh, furthest there to the right. And we welcome today, for the first time, Florida Congressman Mario diaz Bellart. He is chair of the Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development Subcommittee of the House Committee on Appropriations. A long title, but we're glad you're here. Yeah, thank you, sir. Welcome to Battleground, Ohio. We'll talk campaign in a second, but Mike, let's start with the event today. This was concerning housing for our veterans, and it almost didn't happen. Right. Mark, thank you so much for having us. Um, and uh, Mario, I appreciate him being here. He's the chairman, as you said, of all the funding that goes through HUD. And what we have on our VA campus today is a low-income housing facility for our veterans by quality housing right on the site. Uh, it was a project that almost didn't happen because the rules at the VA and the rules at HUD didn't mesh and we needed both of those agencies uh, to work together. Uh, we were able ultimately to break that logjam seven years later. Now we have wonderful units that are there. The chairman's here to be able to look at this facility, how we might be able to change national laws to be able to do more of that here and also more on a national basis. So Congressman, always interested to get the outside perspective from somebody who doesn't live here and wasn't the former mayor like Mike was. Your thoughts on what you saw today? Uh, actually, it was fascinating. Look, it was, it was evident that there's a lot of innovation taking place right here in, in, in your community. We're known for that. Well, but, but, uh, but I saw it firsthand today, and so we had an, um, obviously a multitude of meetings. The, the degree of the effectiveness and the efficiency of the public-private partnerships, uh, which is evidenced, by the way, not only in this last facility that we visited uh, dealing with veterans, but in other housing areas as well. Uh, innovation, uh, this is, I think, uh, you all have here something that I think should could and should be replicated in other, other parts of the country. And it's pretty evident that what you're seeing here, really, frankly, is, is you know, his, uh, Congressman Turner's record and involvement as mayor that, that spirit continues to work in, you know, w with the public-private partnerships, with the innovation uh, that is so palpable and so evident uh, in this great community of yours. Well, it's certainly great to hear. And I'm sitting here with a couple of congressmen from Ohio and Florida. And as you know, your two states will decide the election. I mean, that's what everybody's telling us. And we like it that way. That's right. Absolutely. These are two men who have been on the ballot in Ohio and Florida and have won elections in those two states. You've got two people running for president who need to win your two states. So you, you've won those states. What does it take to win Ohio? What does it take to win Florida, Mike? Well, as you know, Mark, we had Mike Pence here just yesterday. And my message to him is, I think, a message that uh, resonates with the voters here. And that's the issue of national security. You know, we have Wright Patterson Air Force Base, and the, the uh, cuts of sequestration resulted in thousands of people being furloughed. And we have to get back to where we can have some confidence in federal funding for our national security, uh, a military that is strong. Uh, so that we can have strong national policy. Uh, that's an area that I think is important and it needs to be a focus. Congressman, what does it take to win Florida? I think, you know, Florida, as you know, like Ohio, is a, is a swing state. And I think people want folks that can get things done, that can uh, cross the aisle, that can work in a bipartisan, constructive way to kind of just put away the partisan bickering and just roll up your sleeves and get things done. And so Florida is a state that demands that. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting election. If we could get back to compromise in Washington, Absolutely. wouldn't that Absolutely. be refreshing? Absolutely. Congressman Mike Turner, Congressman uh, Diaz-Balart, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. Thanks for live on, too. So to come here 